The 31st United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, consisting of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from March 4, 1849, to March 4, 1851, during the 16 months of the Zachary Taylor presidency and the first eight months of the administration of Millard Fillmore's. The apportionment of seats in this House of Representatives was based on the Sixth Census of the United States in 1840. The Senate had a Democratic majority, while there was a Democratic plurality in the House. <laughs> Major events March 4, 1849, Zachary Taylor became President of the United States December 22, 1849, Howell Cobb is elected Speaker after 63 ballots, the longest election for the position ever held. March 7, 1850, Senator Daniel Webster gave his 7th of March speech in which he endorsed the Compromise of 1850 to prevent a possible civil war. July 9, 1850, President Taylor died and Vice President Millard Fillmore became President. Major legislation September 9, 1850, Compromise of 1850, Cess. 1, Chs. 48-51, 9 Stat. 446-9 9 Stat. 458 September 18, 1850, Fugitive Slave Act, Cess. 1, Ch. 60, 9 Stat. 462 September 20, 1850. An Act to Suppress the Slave Trade in the District of Columbia. Cess. 1, ch. 63, 9 Stat. 467. September 29, 1850. Donation Land Claim Act. Cess. 1, ch. 76, 9 Stat. 496. States admitted and territories organized September 9, 1850 as part of the Compromise of 1850, Texas's borders were changed, ch. 49, 9 Stat. 446, New Mexico Territory was organized, ch. 49, 9 Stat. 448, California was admitted as a state into the Union, ch. 50, 9 Stat. 452 Utah Territory was organized, ch. 51, 9 Stat. 453 <laughs> Party summary <laughs> Senate During this Congress, two Senate seats were added for the new state of California. House of Representatives During this Congress, two House seats were added for the new state of California. Leadership Senate President, Millard Fillmore W., until July 9, 1850, vacant thereafter. President pro tempore, David Acheson D., until May 5, 1850 William R. King D., from May 6, 1850 House of Representatives Speaker, Howell Cobb, D. Democratic Caucus Chairman, James Thompson. Topic Members. This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed by class, and representatives by district. Skip to House of Representatives, below. Senate 
Senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term ended with this Congress, facing re-election in 1850, Class II meant their term began in the last Congress, facing re-election in 1852, and Class III meant their term began in this Congress, facing re-election in 1854. <laughs> House of Representatives The names of members of the House of Representatives are preceded by their district numbers. <laughs> Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. <laughs> Senate Replacements, 5 Democrats, D, no net change Whigs, W, no net change Deaths, 1 Resignations, 3 Seats from newly admitted states, 2 Interim appointments, 4 Total seats with changes, 8 <laughs> House of Representatives Replacements, 11 Democrats, D, two-seat net gain Whigs, W, two-seat net loss Deaths, 8 Resignations, 5 Contested election, 1 Seats from newly admitted states, 2 Total seats with changes, 16 Committees <laughs> 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 Lists of committees and their party leaders. Topic: Joint committees. Enrolled bills. Topic: Caucuses. Democratic House. Democratic Senate. Topic: Employees. Librarian of Congress, John Silva Meehan. Topic: Senate. Chaplain Henry Slicer, Methodist. Clement M. Butler, Episcopalian, elected January 9, 1850. Secretary Asbury Dickens. Sergeant at Arms, Robert Beale. Topic: <laughs> House of Representatives. Chaplain Ralph Gurley, Presbyterian. Clerk Thomas J. Campbell, died April 13, 1850. Richard M. Young, elected April 17, 1850. Doorkeeper Robert E. Horner. Postmaster John M. Johnson. Reading Clerks, Data Unknown, Missing Sergeant at Arms, Adam J. Glossbrenner See also United States elections, 1848 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election, 1848 United States Senate elections, 1848 and 1849 United States House of Representatives elections, 1848 United States elections, 1850 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections, 1850 and 1851 United States House of Representatives elections, 1850